Hi, this is Dave Eicher of Astronomy, and I'm here at the Natural History Museum in London with Dr. Caroline Smith and with our good friend Joanne Ralph, founder of MINDAT, and we're going to show you a few highlights behind the scenes of some meteorites thanks to uh, the generosity of Dr. Smith. It's all right, Caroline. it's my pleasure. Okay, so this is a fragment of the Barwell meteorite. Mm -hmm. This meteorite fell in England um, over the, the small town or village of Barwell, which is in Leicestershire. Um, mm -hmm. It's quite a nice sample because it shows a couple of different things. So this is the outer surface of the meteorite. You can see it's very, very black. This is what we call the fusion crust. There's, this is where the meteorite, as it's come through the Earth's atmosphere, has actually, the rock has actually got so hot on that surface, it's actually melted and formed a natural rock glass. So this black, sort of smooth surface we call the fusion crust. But you can see inside, this is the real colour of the meteorite. You can see it's a sort of concrete grey. Now you can see there's some orange patches. Those are little patches of rust. This meteorite is called an ordinary chondrite. It is the most common type of meteorites that we have on Earth. About 80 to 90% of all of the meteorites on Earth are of this type, um, and they contain little flecks um, of iron nickel metal. And in fact, if I move it round, I don't know, you might just be able to catch little tiny sparkles. And that's mm -hmm. actually the, the iron nickel metal grains actually catching the light. So as I said, this is a really quite a, a, an ordinary type of meteorite. It's called an ordinary chondrite. Um, and we think that these meteorites are some of the first types of meteorites to form in our solar system. These are fairly primitive meteorites. Now what's interesting about this, this is a very famous specimen. We call this the Barwell pebble specimen because if I turn it over, you can see on this mm. cut faces, this large, these large pebbles which look quite different from the surrounding meteorite. Now, when these, this meteorite was sampled in the 1980s, a former colleague of mine, Dr Robert Hutchison, noticed these pebbles and thought that's very strange, they don't look like they should be in there, so he studied them and he actually found out that these pebbles have the chemistry and the mineralogy of objects that have been melted and actually have undergone geological processing. Now, why this is very unusual is that the consensus at the time was that you get this type of meteorite, an ordinary chondrite, and then if you melt and process that, you get meteorites called achondrites. And we can mm -hmm. maybe have a look at an achondrite later on. Mm -hmm. So what was weird about this is you have the processed material embedded in material that we think we thought was much younger. Mm -hmm. So these two things shouldn't be in the same place. <clears throat> a peculiar marriage. So a peculiar marriage. So this actually was a real, the first sort of, you know, a big paradigm shift in, in our thinking of when things were happening in the solar system and where things were happening in the solar system was discovered using uh, this meteorite which mm. fell in England in 19... In fact, it was Christmas Eve 1965, so we call it the Christmas meteorite, um, has actually um, created a huge area of sort of new study to try and work out how, how you get this processed material into stuff that you think is the unprocessed material. So it's a very it's a very interesting area. And again, one of those rather sort of fortuitous um, findings, actually. Nobody knew these things were in there. It was just a case of luck finding them, you know, in the piece that was cut. So, oh, what's that? So, you know, it just goes to show there's always an element of luck in any science, but uh, especially with meteorites, because they're such, you know, interesting and unusual objects to study. So that's the, that's the Barwell pebble specimen, and it's one of our one of our favourite specimens that we have in the collection. Fantastic, and a fantastic story. So I'll go and put that one away. <coughs> and we're not going to show you the cabinetry here, viewers, so Caroline is going to come back with another meteorite here in a moment. Pause it. 